Hello everyone, it's Tuesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Moriah Afolabi Burn. As always, I have the ladies. Hello. Good morning. Hajani Mat. In the building. How are you doing? Salah was sweet. How was Salah? What did you Salah guys do? Sweet. How many rounds did we Three days of Salah. Three. Okay. <laughs> so my in-laws will do two, and then I'll do one, and then my parents will do one and one cow. And so I'm still going to Salah is on all the way to Sunday. Wow. Yes. I'm happy you're eating keto. Because it's meat. Keto. Mm. It's keto compliant. Yes. Because yeah. the meat I've had. Mm -hmm. I had to take Gary this morning. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's in the air. All the caterers did the meat. Since Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. every meat I've tasted. Murai, Fantastic. I personally did my meat. Right. We're waiting. Seasoning yesterday. I love the fact that it was peppered from the mm. boil. It just the way Mariam yes. described it. She, she asked. Because she didn't watch. Okay. okay. She didn't watch. I had given instructions how I wanted it. Today. It's after the show. Yes. 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 Fantastic. Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> I, let me just call them out. I've not, they've not picked my call. Oh. Confirm, oh, please. Yeah. I'll call you out on Wednesday if my meat doesn't get you. Lady I spoke to yesterday in New York. Uh, her name is um, Auntie Bola from New York. She watches our show. She sends her love to all the Aww. ladies. She specially asked for Nima. Hi, it's Nima. I like you. So, uh, Auntie Bola from New York. Thank you, Auntie Bola. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, Mariam, I doing... love the brooch. Thank you. Oh, very girly. <laughs> That's Mariam. I don't know why she keeps saying it. It's just <laughs> but that's Mariam. girly. Okay. Yeah, that's we, that's yesterday, <laughs> hmm, you to speak I said yes, I went to speak pidgin yeah, on a radio show at um, Niger okay. FM. Hmm. I was, you know, I was hoping that most people I know would not listen in because that is what they always yab my pidgin English. They say I sound horrible when I speak it. So I was just hoping that people that I know from childhood would not tune in and yab me more. But a lot of people said I did well. I and didn't listen. Uh, yes. So, so we we'll wait for your. We we'll, we'll wait for your own. <laughs> so yes, we talked about. I talked about healthy eating, and right. we had people calling, and someone called in to say that it was expen It sounds expensive. Mm. I was able to show them how yeah. inexpensive yeah. and affordable it can. Be. I can't mm. wait to max to max them to get a, 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 a pigeon English radio station. It's been oh, nice. Okay. So maybe you can actually flex your muscle ah, there. It's I'd been great. To listen to Hopefully pigeon. they should do something soon. That's I, our I hope pigeon that connects with people more. Connect, yeah. with pigeon. Yeah. Pigeon, yeah. pigeon radio people. always connects. So mm. it's been everybody. nice for Max Seven to, to consider like that. Market. How are you doing? Ah, thank God Nima rescued me and gave me ram meat today because I was. Was it the ram meat? Yes, I was. That was when I was using to drive. That's for driving. No, I was. I was going into mini depression because I was like. Like, what, what kind of human being am I? I'm a wonderful person. <laughs> Why, what did I do that nobody thought to give me ram? ram? That is part one. Part two, the last evening, this morning I called me, are you not coming for this party? I said, ah, I don't have nanny. What kind of life is this? <laughs> what kind of life is this? The sacrifices they make about that. But my mother now said, yeah, generalizing. Mm. Calm down. People are praying to have children. You have children. You don't have anyone mm. taking care of them. You are taking care of them yourself. Yes, Be happy, mm. you know. And so yeah. I, I stayed at home and I was consoling myself, you know, that ah, meat is coming. Meat is coming. I used to do layer parties. Ah. This is my season. Yeah. I'll go from one to the other, but ah. You know, this is a season. It will pass. I'm patient. Well, on the contrary, yes. <laughs> yesterday, we had rum for breakfast, rum, rum for lunch, <laughs> rum for dinner. <laughs> ah, you know, we had we three different versions of jello fries. Mm. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, like, one for Malaji, uh -huh. one for our next door neighbor, one for my uncle. We're just eating. So you different, different rice. Passage. I use lake then rice. Peppered for rice. People didn't it's know. It's peppered um, mm. meat. They didn't know I could, you could use lake rice. I'm yes, I, 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 I kept my lake rice. Fantastic. Lake rice, they should start producing. People didn't exactly, know. It because I, don't, out so I can't find it's lake rice. Yes. Yeah, it's not I can't find it anywhere. I know what to do. <laughs> in fact, I have, said, I have declared December 25, we are in your house. Around. We are in your house. God Mirayo. give me money. Yeah. Yeah. God give Man. me money. Let me have money. By December 25, I'm killing at Mirayo. least two rounds. You don't have okay, a choice. Have a you have announced do. yesterday. Mm. Yes. We have blocked the schedule. Yes. <laughs> we are reporting to Mirayo. 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 show on Christmas Day. Okay, <laughs> we're going to go on a break. When we come back, <laughs> it's holiday season. We're going to breeze through the front pages. I mean, it's only as Zaki is on the papers. Anyway, stay with us. We'll be right back. Right, let's start with the nation. Rao over minimum wage payment delay. Shared leader security operatives escort El Zagzaki to India. 2023, El Rafai under fire for call to end zoning. Unmasking kidnap kingpin Wadume, that's the person that escaped while um, the army had killed three police officers. Hmm. 
COSA, still in the papers, mm -hmm. PFN panel to release reports this week. EFCC traces cash to Quara ex-governor's wife, and Makinde Ajimobi's rift deepens. Hmm. So which story are we taking? I'll reply. Under fire for call it to Enzoni. Who has that story? We didn't read it. Okay, no, major, exactly. somewhere else, because I want to tell you the Quara first lady. Okay, have okay, yeah, that story. Yes. Go ahead. So the uh, wife of the former governor of Quara State has been, is, is in hot water with EFCC. They said that she diverted two billion men for oh. SMED, Quara State. That's a small and medium enterprise development. Mm -hmm. And uh, she took, that she's returned, when EFCC approached her, she returned three million naira oh and said she couldn't come to the office of the EFCC because she wasn't feeling well and that she hasn't disclosed to them the nature of her illness. And also 78 million was given to a first class royal out of that money. They said that this is really sad because this SMED is supposed to be a, an initiative to initiate and implement strategies to deal with cultural, socioeconomic, health, well-being issues militated against development for children, you know, and, and things like that. So they said that um, she used that money to promote herself. Uh -uh. You know, That's instead of using, yes, to promote herself, I hope instead of the, it. So that would, the, you know, yeah. the she starts to have SMED itself. Prosecution and proper convictions. Uh, proper conv that is proper, not a prosecution, no. Conviction. Proper conviction. I mean that the, the sentencing should meet with the gravity of the offense. Yeah. Because the royal father right now it. has not said anything. He has not even returned his money. Right. And he's, they say he's Let me talk, take on the story for El Rafai, because he was saying, I would like to quote him. He was saying that informal rule for zoning candidates, um, candidates according to the regions of origin, need to be de-emphasized mm -hmm. and ultimately abandoned in favor of an emphasis on qualification, competence, and character. I think many people agree with this, mm -hmm. but I guess others are saying but that. I think Sheo and Senator Sheo Sani were saying that um, the idea of taking power back to the north in 2023 is, is, is selfish, is wrong, mm -hmm. that power should come back to the south. So, of course, everybody's already working towards 2023, mm -hmm. but um, it was important. Well, we started the Competence, forest. character is important, because um, to, by the same time, we must country. consider other parts yes. of the country. Mm -hmm. So, okay, moving on now to mm -hmm. the punch. Policemen killing defense headquarters orders Taraba Battalion to produce kidnapper Wadume. Picture here of um, picnickers, having fun in various places in this, within the city. Varsity students rape. Police arraign Randy Soldier on Wednesday. Hmm. Gunmen abduct Chief Imam's son and two siblings. Hmm. Father rapes impregnate 18-year-old daughter in Ogun. Father Lord. Buhari Oshoma Litinubu absent from Oyegun's 80th birthday. Obaseki pays the surprise visit to Oshomale in Edo. Controversy surrounds celebrated Nigerian psych, uh, physicist and uh, uh, world award. And federal government blames labor for minimum wage payment delay and El Zagzaki off to India. Hmm. Okay, let's start with the human interest story. So the father this, who impregnated this, his daughter. This father in Songo area, his name is Ikine, Imano Ikine, has been arrested for raping his, um, his 52 year old, for raping his daughter, his 18 year old daughter, and impregnating her. This girl, uh, he had divorced her mom and kept the children and had been raping her for long, to which he has confessed to the police that he has been at it for long. The poor girl couldn't stand it. Anytime her brothers, she's the only girl of two or three children, mm. and anytime her brothers are not around, she, he would constantly have sexually assault her, rape her, and threaten her not to talk about it. So she exactly. was tired of it and she confessed to a neighbor who made the report and wow. he was arrested and they confessed exactly. to it. This thing has become rampant. I had to deal with something during the week that scared me. A woman had reported domestic violence. She's separated from the man for her safety, and she's been threatened to release her first daughter to him. Mm. He's separating the children. You take the little one, but I need this first one. Uh -huh. He's doing to everything point, yeah. desperately to keep the daughter, uh -huh. the first daughter. And they investigate to see if there's something. I just had the suspicion that violated. this kind of things are common yes. now, yes. and it could be one of such things. Uh, uh, so let's talk about the varsity students. Yes. Yes. That so. Um, this Adekule Ajasi University, we followed the story, I think, last week, uh, two weeks ago, where a man, a Lance Copra, um, so Sunday at Delola, was alleged to have raped the three, three, 300 level students, and now he's been fired, um, he's been yes. dismissed okay. by the Nigerian army. Thank he's God. been given, handed over to the police, Thank and the police have said that they'll be taking him to court on Wednesday. If they can't make it Wednesday, it'll be on Thursday. He will be faced, <coughs> will be prosecuted so, as a civilian because exactly. he's been dis Fantastic. dismissed by the Nigerian police, I mean, mm -hmm. by the Nigerian army, which I think is a fantastic deal. Fantastic. Still with fantastic. the Nigerian army, though, 
the defense headquarters has spoken up concerning the, th mm. the killings of three policemen, oh, saying that they are now going to carry out investigation. Those three would have been moved, the, the culpable soldiers have been moved to Abuja mm. for prosecution. And um, Buratai has ordered that every, poli every military official that is traveling on their own should, should mufti. wear mufti and not because confront because Please. it's a personal, don't confront any police officer. So I'm happy that they are trying to resolve this, but we want prosecution for these mm -hmm. three so military, um, 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 police, police officers, officers that have died. Mm -hmm. There must be prosecution carried out. And the justice meted out must be equivalent yes. to the cost of the life exactly. that has gone. Yes. Should I ask nice that, or do you want to move on? Mm -hmm. Let's move, move on to Vanguard. Okay. How I narrowly escaped death, survivor, policeman. Banker, downfall driver, mm -hmm. commits suicide in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ogun governor threatens death penalty as kidnappers abduct chief imam's son. South Wales will launch outfits to tackle insecurity, says Governor Oyetola. Why I returned a millionaire gratuity over payment, says pensioner. El Zaxaki wife jet out to India for Medicare. Buhari replaces Enang with Omar Warare as Senate liaison officer. Okay, let's talk about the suicide in Lagos. So, Down for what very, happened? Very painful death. Um, the banker, his name is Oye Cherry left a very touching note, note for his wife and committed suicide saying that, you know, he just had to go, that the evil is committed, that the wife is, she's a good person, she doesn't deserve a man like him. And he had apparently, conf um, you know, um, give, given out a note on Facebook saying he wanted to take his own life. I think that we should put, um, we should put mm. top priority on mental health. I think he wasn't stable. Mm. People who saw the note didn't do anything. Of course, you know, social media, we are right. close but far from each other. Then right. the downfall driver, Kabiru Bello, that one just you know, sat in his bus and took a liquid. Of course, the one I suspect that I said I do not want on the shelf and they've been, it's been banned, but I think we'll, we'll round it up in September. Mm. We do not have that. We don't we need that substance, substance around people going through serious mental health issues, except they've seen a mental health expert. I'd also like that we have a, an HMO cover for mental health now. Mm. It's like malaria now. Right. We should be giving people, we should treat that's it as a, a top priority. That's a hot topic, actually. We need to make, exactly. make it a topic. Like malaria um, mm. Ogun, governor threatens death penalty. Yes. Numbers, what's that about? Um, so, the, sadly, the son of an imam, Abdul Aziz, Sheikh Abdul Aziz, um, Sonny was abducted by hoodlums and the governor speaking concerning this kidnap is saying that they are going to put a law in Ogun State that would be um, de death penalty for any kidnapper caught. Mm. He also mentioned the fact that a lot of them, Lagos and Edo, Edo too, Edo started, yeah, started it. So um, he's saying that there will be death penalty and that most of these people come in the guise of headsmen, mm. but they are, that co mm. um, information reaching when they interact with those that are being caught are that they are foreigners. And so we would not make this place palatable for them but I, I think that we shouldn't just talk about it before mm. doing it i want to hear about your death penalty when they've passed it into law not mm -hmm. before i think the minister Fashola had told us about that we should stop giving these names all this coloring and somebody yeah. also echoed yeah. it yeah. Just the the names. Names. they are criminals mm. yes, yes. Yeah. Kidnappers, Haram, kidnappers. They're, they're, mm. they're just all criminals yeah. and they're kidnappers moving on now to daily sun two dss officers escort el zagzaki wife to india mm -hmm. tension in china over nigeria's pastor's death mm. Why 30,000 naira minimum wage can't take off, says federal government. And there's hardship in Nigeria, says Emir of Zazal. Let's talk about Elza Zaki for a second. So Elza Zaki and his wife have finally been flown to India for, mm -hmm. for health purposes. And they were escorted by members of Nigerian intelligence agency, three of them. A chaperone for him, for his wife, and a help for Elza mm. Zaki himself. So there, were, there was news that came out <coughs> in one of the Iranian um, newspapers about 186 doctors mm. from Pakistan, India, Iran, Afghanistan, Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq had written their doctors written a letter to the Nigerian government mm. asking for him to be released to so a proper specialist hospital for mm. treatment. So, anyway, he's gone and he met the three conditions that were given by the court in Kaduna State. So, that is the he's sure to come back. Mm. China, what happened mm. in China? Okay, China, China, yes. So, um, Nigerians. yes, a Nigerian, well, a Nigerian pastor, mm. because of, um, I think, had to do with his stay in China. He was there illegally, he and the too. security operatives were trying to get him, and while he was running away, and they used this, there's an illuminating gadget that they use, and they numbed him. When he fell, when he fell down, he fell to his death. Oh. When the wife heard about it, they said she fainted. So, it got Nigerians really upset, mm. and they decided to attack the Chinese wow. security operators. So that was what happened. Story. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, that's all we can take on front page review. When we come back, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to talk about quite a number of things. But first, 
We have PZ in the building. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Welcome back. So we have with us the assistant brand manager, PZ, Wilma Mobola Omofolari, on the show to enlighten us on their new product, Mamadol Light Fat Spread. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, tell us about having Mamadol for breakfast. What's that about? Okay, so basically we've been on a campaign. Um, it's aimed at the Nigerian child. Um, we're basically going around to schools telling them that, you know, you know, breakfast is important and not only breakfast, but the right kind of breakfast. Mm -hmm. So breakfast that has the right nutrients, the right vitamins to give you um, a great start to your day. Great. Mm -hmm. So many people are not sure how to use the butter because we because abroad there are so many ways of using butter. You can use it on right. crackers. Here it's just on bread. Exactly. Could you give us options? How do we use butter? So um, first of all, it's margarine, not butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so, you know, when we go to the schools, we actually don't always spread it on bread. We, okay. we do crackers as well. Oh. Um, so yeah, we tell the kids that, you know, in your school lunch box, you can have it on your crackers, you can also spread it on bread. And one thing about our spread, I must say, is that it's very easy to spread. Mm. So I know that kids nowadays, they want to do things themselves, like exactly. Oh. So, mm -hmm. you know, it helps when, you know, oh, mommy, you know, gives them the thing and they spread it mm. on okay. the bread themselves or the crackers. Um, interestingly, I was speaking to someone like two weeks ago, and the person was also saying that, you know, um, you can also have it on rice. Yeah, um, I was going to go there. Yeah, you can also have it on rice. So, like, when your rice is, like, hot mm, and exactly. boiled, you can put, like, just a drop. I mean... A teaspoon. Yeah, a teaspoon yeah. or less. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's the... And yam as well. Yeah. So, it just gives it a nice kick. What's the advantage? Uh, because I, I understand that these butters are usually fortified margarine. with meat. These margarines. We just call everything... Sadly. I know. We just call everything... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone calls it butter. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know that this margarine, particular brand that you're pushing, is fortified with other nutrients that are vital for everyday children mm -hmm. growth. So, yeah. can you tell us what is the what's special about this and why? How, what's the importance of adding it mm -hmm. to our everyday food? Okay, so um, our spread has um, seven essential vitamins and minerals, essential for growth. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's really good for kids. Not only kids, it's also good for adults. Oh, um, yeah, it's also good for adults. So one thing that we're doing, um, especially on our social media pages, is we've employed some um, nutritionists, some influencers, um, some chefs. So they're um, putting out recipes, mm -hmm. um, really good um, lifestyle tips as well. Um, very affordable and easy to make breakfast mm. um, recipe. So you can just go onto our um, social media page, mm. um, even our website as well. So whatever is on our social media page, the recipes, we also have it, it on our website. Okay, why, why breakfast? Why is it more important? Is it more important than the other meals? And what exactly makes it so important that you're driving a campaign about breakfast? Right, so um, we all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Like mm -hmm. everyone knows that. Um, so not only just breakfast, but you need to have the right kind of breakfast. And Mamado provides you with just that because it has, you know, all the essential vitamins and minerals. And we know that once you have breakfast, you're good for, you know, for the it's day. Also a, a it's also a great good start. Yeah, so you, you, exactly. So it gives mm -hmm. you like, you know, a great start to your day. Like, you know, you can be the best you can so be. Your, <laughs> your, initial, your initial statement was like, we're targeting kids. Yeah. What's your plan? What's the plan of the uh, company? I think giving small sizes that you know you, pocket, uh, you, you can put in the pocket or in the child's yeah, lunch so, box. Um, currently, yeah. we yeah. have the, um, the 250 gram and the 450 gram, but um, we're also, because we've had that feedback, so mm -hmm. we're also working on um, getting Small smaller sachets. Smaller so sachets. Yes, yeah. we are. Um, are yeah. they, since kids are involved, are, they, are you having any activations to engage the kids? Because you know, growing up, Anytime uh, products coming out, they always give us giveaways, little things. <laughs> yeah. Are you having any activations where kids are going to be involved? Okay, so um, apart from, so we've been going to schools. Okay. You know, we started in July. We've done some schools in Lagos. We've done some schools in Port Harcourt. Mm -hmm. um, the next phase of that is going to start in September when school actually resumes. Right. But aside that, we've, we, we're also live at some um, golden outlets, you know, like your spa, your Ebano, um, mm -hmm. you know, doing some activations. And then we also run some giveaways on our social media page. So Fantastic. people should watch out for that. Our um, Instagram handle is at mamadorng okay. so people can just follow like share 
you know, oh. there's all sorts of stuff on there. So and a lot yeah. of things to watch out for us adults as well. Yeah, exactly for adults, <laughs> for adults as well. Yes, yes. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Is it? It's good because um. So aside from breakfast, um, I, I know somebody said earlier about mixing yeah. rice. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Nigerians don't eat bread for breakfast anymore. It's now yam. We don't even eat bread for breakfast. <laughs> so the, the, let's the, let's let's remove making bread bread, bread <laughs> just breakfast. <laughs> Trust me, this is Nigeria. Oh, yeah, yeah, how do you do rice for yeah, breakfast? So I people like me, man. That's why we're telling people that you need to have a healthy breakfast so because, so because, because find a healthy, for someone like me, man, can they have a bread for breakfast? So what is a healthy breakfast? Is it just bread and ramadan? Personally. Um, I would say a healthy breakfast is, you know, if you want to do fit farm, wheat bread, okay. and, you know, obviously spread bread. mama dough right. on it. Um, you can have a boiled egg, you can have like your fruit, mm. yogurt, and your good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you talk about classic and light variants yeah. that you have. Could you explain what that means? Okay, so our spread is in two variants. We have classic and we have the light fat. So the classic is the one that we launched first. Um, so that's more for cooking, baking. Okay. Um, you can also use it to spread, but it's not as light as the light fat. So the light fat is obviously lighter yeah. and it's easier. easier to spread. You can't use it to cook, but the classic, you can definitely use it to cook. You can use it to fry as well. Um, mm. Yeah, and bake as, oh, as well. Cool. Yeah. Because I know people use their butter for margarine for yeah, um, doing pancakes. Mm. Yeah, exactly, pancakes, pancakes, pancakes or, or um, frying yeah. eggs. Yeah. Okay, so that would like be the that. classic. Yeah, so that would be the classic. Mm. So you, you might as well just have both of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, cool. you should. Interesting. Interesting. And then for yeah. me, I like the fact that it says it's cholesterol free and yes, trans fat and free. Trans what does that mean to a regular person? Why would that be important to somebody? Um, it's cholesterol and trans fat free. You don't want to, you know, clog, clog your clog your, your <laughs> arteries or anything. Yeah. So. It's yeah, healthy. It's, good. it's healthy. And I also must say that um, we also have, I, I know that it, quite a number of people are familiar with our oil. We also have an oil brand yes. also yeah. under the Mamado umbrella. Mm -hmm. um, the oil is also cholesterol and trans fat free as well. Mm -hmm. We've okay. also recently launched um, seasoning as well. Oh. So, um, you know, we're just on this um, healthy journey. We just want people to know that your, your, your meals can be tasty and healthy, healthy or rather yeah. healthy and, and tasty. tasty yeah because mm -hmm. i know that people have this misconception that you know if it's healthy it's not going to be so nice yes but we're just <laughs> trying to tell people that you, you, you can have healthy meals and you can also have tasty meals and that's what the mama message we, is i think we've gotten the message across is there any other yeah. thing you'd like to say finally to our viewers um i just thing? want to say follow our um instagram page all our social media handles um we're on instagram as um, at Mamador NG. Mm -hmm. um, you can also check out our website www.mamador.com.ng. What do we stand to? You know, Nigerians, there's always <laughs> stand to something. You can't just so follow we, people. We, follow we, we, we usually do giveaways right. on, on our Instagram page gotcha. so people can go there, follow, and just watch out. Mm -hmm. um, we also have like interesting stuff on the website That's lifestyle right. tips, cooking tips, and oh, all great that. stuff. So, yeah. Hey, cooking tips. Hey, now you're yeah, talking. exactly. <laughs> cooking need tips. Those options. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for yeah. having Thank me you. again. Thank you. All right, we're going to go on a break. When we come back, we're still focusing on kids because now we're just about how to ensure sure kids have good breakfast. Later, we'll be discussing how to help the children with their hair. Have you had that problem? Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So before we talk about kids' hair, we're going to talk about waste management, which is the most pressing environmental challenge faced by Nigerians. Report has it that Nigeria, with a population of exceeding 200 million, hmm. is one of the largest producers of solid waste in Africa. Joining us on the show is the President KB Club, Hodovai Ekwe Iko. Welcome to the show, sir. Wow. Good morning. Wow. Good you me. can call us on 070 806 -8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweet. <coughs> waste management. Why is a young man involved in waste management? Oh, um, I'm a member. I'm a medical student. Okay. 500 level physiotherapy in College of Medicine, University of Lagos, okay. and I'm in a club, an association, the KB Club, okay. which is a social philanthropy club. But every year we have events that are centered into healthcare. And waste management is an important part of health. Mm -hmm. Health is wealth. You always say health is wealth. Mm -hmm. But then when the environment is not tidy, it affects our health. So it's a very important part of what we do. And then the other things we do, but waste management so is really important. Mm -hmm. And this year, there's a competition we're organizing. 
and then different fields from emergency healthcare, physical and home therapy, inpatient clinic care, health records. Risk management is one of the fields. That so what, what is this? Um, sorry, go ahead, Mary. Okay, yes. So it says here, solid waste management. And what are the, why is it called solid waste yes. management? Um, are there... Yeah, there are different forms of waste. There's mm -hmm. the liquid waste, there's the organic waste, there's the hazardous waste, uh -huh. there's the solid waste, and then there's the recyclable waste. Mm -hmm. The solid waste is the usual refuse. You see the hard, the solid ones, the plastic bottles, the... Not recyclable. Yeah, the solid can bottles, be also recyclable. Yes, yes they can also be, nice. yeah, but they are solid. Right. Mm -hmm. They are things you throw away, you feel they are not useful again. Mm -hmm. The liquid waste is the water, the kitchen maybe washing water. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's I, also recyclable. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that you've, um, uh, the, the world is moving into being green and mm -hmm. all of this ecosystem, climate change and all of that. How is your um, organization pushing the information and the awareness itself? as opposed to just saying, you know, bring in the waste, but pushing information on how to properly manage. manage our waste, how we can reduce our waste, and the best way to dispose of this waste. Yes, so like I said earlier, it's really important that we manage this waste well. And my association, um, we organize competitions where we have groups pitch ideas mm. on how to improve healthcare. Mm -hmm. And waste management is an important part. So this year, there's a group, I really can't remember the name. <laughs> they have an idea already. Mm. Tomorrow, they'll be pitching that idea. We've been working with them for a while now. And then tomorrow, they'll pitch that idea. If they win, <laughs> they get a good sum of money. Yeah. And we help in pushing yeah. this forward. That's good. So the idea is, of course, to help us be aware of manage waste. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the recycling of waste into... So let, let's talk about the club. You said you're medical students and you do a lot of you have a lineup of events starting tomorrow. Yes. What exactly, aside waste management, okay. are the lineups that you have that can benefit the populace? Thank you, yes. The KB Club is a social philanthropy club, and philanthropy is our core ethos mm -hmm. in, the, in the University of Lagos. Philanthropy is what we do. If, um, for KB Club is turning 50 this year. Wow. Oh. We've been in existence since 1969, and mm. philanthropy has been when you say philanthropy, you know, when you say philanthropy, when you say waste management, there is no, you're not, you're not giving us the practical, the practical thing that you do. So you say exactly, exactly what exactly is philanthropy thing? thing. Are you giving Can back? You down? Yeah, Are you we, giving clothes? We, we go to uh, homes. Mm. We go to Bacheli Home for the Blind. Um, mm. Can I mention the names? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mention. Okay, um, Betseda Home for the Blind, the Lagos Girls Correctional Centre, mm -hmm. at Ondaolu Schools. We have a bond with these schools every year. From the Valentine's Day, we go to visit them. Oh. We go to give, we give them gifts once in a while. We get clothes. We wash these clothes. And this is volunteer them. from students? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, fantastic. Wow. That's My a good way to engage. was a former member. Yeah. Dr. He's a professor now. Mm -hmm. Dr. Butali, as you said. And yeah. he, he, he told me about it and so much that you people will be doing. So exactly what are your ex um, alumni, or what they call them, yes, former yes. students doing to partner so with you? Yeah, um, this, since it's a, this is the 50th anniversary, we've been in close contact with our alumni. And they're helping in monetary wise. They, oh. They've helped us to get connections to talk about the KB Club. So that's how you get so funds. We're giving, giving you this no, platform. No, that's not only how we get funds. We're giving you this platform because we want you. We, we feel that it's a laudable um, oh, thing yes. you're doing. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. And we feel much. that young people need to be encouraged because you're a 500 level oh. university. So mm -hmm. um, just use this opportunity to tell us exactly what the competition is about, how they win it, and mm -hmm. what they win exactly. Okay. Um, stack reform. Healthcare is really important in Nigeria, and it's very clear that the system in Nigeria is really not so good. So as medical students, we just sat down and thought, what can we do as medical students, as healthcare professionals to be, mm -hmm. to help the country? Then we decided to do a competition. If you have any idea, any idea, we form these people into groups. They come up with ideas in emergency healthcare, physical therapy. Oh. Um, health policies, mm. inpatient clinic care, <coughs> waste management, and arts in medicine. So this, there are five groups now. We had screened them up for our 10. We did a um, series of preliminary rounds. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the winner gets um, a 500,000 era seed funding. Oh, wow. So 
Mm. You guys are doing great. Yes, so, mm -hmm. but then it's not, it's a seed fund. It's not just, it's not just money. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's a contract on ground. So we have to mm. work on their progress mm. and make sure that they finalize what they've started as oh. goals. Well, well, well done. Thank well you done. Job. It's really else? impressive. Like, can you say students are not serious or stuff yeah. like that? I'm Is there anything else you want to tell us about this initiative so that we can... How do we people reach out to you? Reach out to you? How do we you? It's it's an exclusively Unilag. Yes, Unilag. The College of yeah. Medicine. Oh, actually. Okay. But then we are always open to partnerships with different bodies. Right. That's, yes. That's yes. good. Okay. Well done. Thank you so much for Thank joining us on much. that. But well, I'm not going to let you go yet <laughs> because you're a young Nigerian. Mm -hmm. 500 level. There's a lot we need to talk to you about. We're going to go on a break. When we come back, I'm going to switch the topic. Okay. And you I'm going to focus on you <laughs> because you're a medical student. Yes. As much as I admire mm -hmm. you, I also have a sense of I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm really? trying to choose the word, worry. <laughs> Thank you for that. that, that's a softer word. You <laughs> worry that you're a young, bright Nigerian in this country. I don't know, oh. I'm just like worried mm. for you. But let's go on a break, when we come back, we'll talk to you. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. <clears throat> Thank you for staying with us. So we detained Podovai uh, <laughs> for an extra few more minutes because you told us earlier that you're a 500 year student and you're a medical student. I'd like to get, get a bit into your head. Um, what are your plans for the future? What exactly do you see five years? Where do you see yourself five years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, and after final year, I do internship for a year. Then mm -hmm. I go for service. Mm -hmm. okay. Then I plan to do my master's. Okay. Immediately. So you don't do your residency, all exactly. those things. Physi and sports, sports physiotherapy. Wow. So that, 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 that's the area you want to focus on. Yes. Um, is, there, is there a model you're following in Nigeria? Is there somebody you see mm -hmm. that does that that you like to be like, or, or even outside? Just or outside. Is there who's anybody that? Who's your mentor? Who's that person you're looking at? Um, the there's really nobody I'm looking at here because I think sports physiotherapy in Nigeria isn't really. Isn't really it? You don't sound like you're planning to stay in yeah, Nigeria. That's where I was going. Then. You plan to stay in Nigeria? <laughs> <See this smile. laughs> oh my goodness! You plan to stay in Nigeria? <laughs> no. Okay. So, so, when, when, so when when do you? How do you plan your exit? What exactly do you plan to do? When do you plan to leave? When I when I do my masters. Let, let's talk seriously. Okay. Let's talk seriously. I don't I don't blame you, because <laughs> the people that um, they too left. But <laughs> you have to do. You see, we're in a country where we need to we need to water these plants. Every time we leave this country, we leave a problem. Mm. I will come back to a problem. I don't mind you going, get the knowledge, get the money, you establish Experience. yourself, but is there a give back plan somehow that you know you want to change the situation so that the next generation has something to stay for? Is there that plan in the future? Are you looking at that picture at all? It's too young to oh. Yes. Um even I might not I might not travel out of the country. I might not. Mm -hmm. So there has to be, yes, a contingency plan. Mm -hmm. um, physiotherapy in Nigeria is, is, is fast becoming popular, it's fast becoming known. Mm -hmm. My lecturers will tell you, just do well when you're done, even though it's really tight out there. Mm -hmm. If you know what you're doing, it's possible. There are no notable sports physiotherapists. Mm -hmm. I can be the notable one in Nigeria. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, it's, so it's something that it's something I'm working on. I might do my masters and decide to come back to Nigeria. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Things change really fast. Yes. Next yes. two, three years, you don't know what could happen. So you know, I had an experience. I'll come to you, Miriam. I had an experience with physiotherapy because I was in a car accident many years ago, mm. and I was on a wheelchair for four months, and I was on book. So for a whole eight months, I didn't walk. But thanks to my physiotherapist, mm. he was able to help me through. So it's a really, really critical job. So it'd be mm -hmm. great to have a Nigerian who does that. Very well, especially in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Let me come to Maria. I just wanted to, so now you have your plan, you're looking to travel abroad for your master's mm -hmm. and probably work there a bit and then come back. But we know of young people who have made plans and it doesn't quite work out. Do you have a plan B? So let's say it didn't work out if you couldn't travel when you wanted to travel. If it didn't work out at the time that you wanted, is there a plan B that you have? Yes, there's no problem doing my master's in Nigeria <laughs> too. So. The Lagos Investigation Hospital, Unilag. Mm -hmm. They have a very good master's program there. So, and then that's the school I'm finishing from. So mm -hmm. it can be a very good transition for me. Mm -hmm. I could learn a few things from. So are you proud of your school? Yes. Yeah. Where you are right now? Yes. Is it a school you recommend to people? 
Yes, I am. It's the, yeah, very proud yeah, that It's really it's a right? tedious process, but then you learn. Right. Um, okay. We have clinics almost every day of the week. <laughs> we complain about it, but then we get a hands-on approach. Yeah. We yeah. get to treat patients at yeah. the point where we are That's still good. students. So yeah. it won't be something new when we graduate. Yeah. So um, I, I love politics, and I feel that you know the politicians always say that it's not served a la carte. Uh, young people are not interested in what is going on. They are always just on Instagram, listening to music and all of that. Are you aware <laughs> of the political landscape of Nigeria? Are you a card-carrying voter? Do you have your voter's card? Did you vote? What did you look out for during the election? And are you inspired by what you're seeing now? Well, during the elections, um, I... I asked any question. Did you have a card? Do you have a card, voter's card? No, I could not get that. Okay. For, for certain reasons, mm. I could not. Okay, had... Yes, but I was willing to vote. Mm. Um, even though there are a lot of things that happened during the elections, but I'm still optimistic, mm. even though, yes, because at the end of the day, if everybody's pessimistic, yeah. the country would Do you believe in Nigeria? Awesome. To an extent, I do. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Because, um, I don't know, every day things get harder mm. and it's really difficult to believe in Nigeria, but I feel that God has put us in this Doesn't place for mistakes. a reason. Mm. So we should always try to see the positive Mm. and try to put in our best as Nigerians so that Nigeria would move forward. Mm. Yes. Let me take Anne. Anne, are you there? Thanks for calling for me, Bado. Hello, Anne. We oh, lost oh, our call. So okay, okay. I feel, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I still want you to a, a, a bit give me an idea of what you and your friends in school talk about when you talk about Nigeria. Do you guys talk about Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Because adults out there, politicians and all of that, feel like these people don't know anything, don't know you know, they're not bothered. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to get into your brain to understand what do you talk about? Do you know your representatives? Do you know the, do you, are you aware of the gov governing policies around our country? Are you having that kind of conversation you just focus on your patients. Or you just do your, your, your school work and just go? No, no. It's, as much as we do our school work, it's very important that we're conversant with our environment. We know what goes on. And at the end of the day, a lot of us, some of us want to be politicians. Some of us want to be hmm. governors. Yeah. So we need to know some of these policies. During the election period, it was really heated. Hmm. There were arguments in school everywhere. <laughs> those pro, those against. Again. Yes, so... And we argued these things out. What has this person done? What has this person not done mm. going forward? So you discuss yeah. it? Yes, we actually yes. do. Yes. Let me yes. take this call from Malaji Subara. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good morning. Good morning. Any meet? Yes. Um, I'm really concerned about your statement, Morayo, about this young boy that is with you. <laughs> you asked him a question. You said it's about it. You know, and I, I feel concerned about that question mm -hmm. because of the situation of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I bet you that boy, is, I look at him, he's so dynamic, mm -hmm. so serious, mm -hmm. and if that boy got an opportunity to go overseas, he will never return. <laughs> I, would, I know he loves Nigeria. He loves Nigeria. But with the, with the situation of our society, mm -hmm. with the kind of mindset nice. that boy has, look at most of the things that happen in this country. Mm -hmm. Most of our, look at the environmental issues, mm -hmm. say for instance. Yeah. Most of the road that is even done, you will understand that most of these roads they are being paid for and they are not done in our society. Right. So everywhere, look at the environment in Lagos. Mm -hmm. I know Lagos State Government. There was a time they talk about this environment, you know, the mm -hmm. of the uh, waste departure nylon or whatever the yeah. state government said, no, they want to ban them. At the end of the day, they turn around. Mm -hmm. They said they will continue. What did they do about that? So like this boy that is so dynamic, he has an idea. So that's why I'm concerned about your question to him. Yes, right. thank you very much, Alaji. Thank All you. Right. We'll have some you know, tweets. Okay, yes, I Andrew have... says, this is an intelligent young man. I will back this man with money as regards doing this noble course of waste management that he plans to do. And um, um, one day says, why are you ladies putting this young man on the spot? <laughs> he came for a reason, now you're x-raying his life. <laughs> no, it's a the purpose question I hope you've yeah, seen the, yeah. the objective. You know, the question I want to ask is, some people think that Nigerians don't ever feel they are old enough to do something. They're old enough to make an impact, mm -hmm. old enough to be involved in anything serious. How old do you think that a Nigerian needs to be to become involved in the politics, in things like environment, and like what you're doing right now? At what age do you think that people should start thinking that way? Um, right. I feel when you're good enough, you're old enough. Um, that's why the KB Club is 
something that has really helped me mm. right from when I joined when I was, when I was maybe 200 level, 300. Okay, so do you think you have to wait till you're at university or is this something we can start pushing from when you're in secondary school? What do you think? It's, it's small programs. Small programs help people learn. Mm. And when you learn, these days I go with my friends to companies and they give me good afternoon, sir, good morning, sir. <laughs> I say I'm a student and they laugh for me. I just show you a student, that right. kind of thing. Yeah. So when there are programs from right. even secondary okay, school. Let me take this learn. call from Johnny. Johnny, are you there from the UK? Hello? Hello? Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Hello? Hello, your view? Hello, yes. your view? Yes. You're, you're live. Go ahead. from UK. Yes, oh, Johnny, welcome to the show. Um, <laughs> thank you. Murayo, it's good to see you. Thank and you. You look wonderful. Thank you, you sir. What a great team. You are inspirational. Aww. And the issue you cover, I wept. From UK, I cried for my country. Aww. When I saw those roads, Murayo, I cried. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Okay, I know there are problems in Nigeria, but the federal government should do more to, you know, the money is there to just get the right people to improve the condition, particularly Lagos. I love Lagos. I grew up in Nigeria before I left for UK. But when I watch programs in Nigeria, particularly Lagos, the capital, the colonial capital of <laughs> Nigeria, I mean, the money is there. It's just the leadership and you Oh, oh, sorry, lost that call, Johnny. <laughs> um, but I have to, I, I don't want to put you on the spot anymore because yeah. I think we've done enough extra of you. <laughs> we have to wrap up on this. But the reason why I wanted to have this conversation because it's important to see that young people are actually doing a lot of things out yeah. there. Mm -hmm. There's an assumption that young people are just all watching techno, watching music videos, yeah. you know, <laughs> playing and dancing. And when you see a young man who is doing his work, mm. it's important to recognize that and celebrate that. So yeah. we celebrate you. Yes. You well much. done with KB Club. Mm -hmm. We hope that you're able to get your points of view across, and I only pray that if you do go, because right now we've carried El Zazaki to Indiana, because we can't treat him in Nigeria. So we don't have the dog. So I don't, I, I can't tell you to stay. Oh. <laughs> because I don't know who you're going to treat. They won't even pay you. So yes, as Nima said, you would have to go, mm -hmm. certainly. But our prayer is that, is that you return. Mm -hmm. And when you do return, I hope we will to value you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Definitely. that's what we can take. When we come back, we'll talk about our children's hair. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Without relaxers, statistics also show that most children struggle with their natural hair. Our guest will be enlightening us on the procedure on how to take care of your children's hair. Hmm. Joining us is the founder, Maria Cruz, organized hair care expert, Amara Okoli. Welcome to the show. Amara Okoli Tassi, welcome yeah. to the show. Thank <laughs> you. You can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweet. Kids' hair, oh my Lord. <laughs> they just be crying, <laughs> you know? And I just guess I just throw in the tanglers, but unfortunately, <laughs> they help the um, the person that makes their hair complains that because when the detangler is there, it makes it slippery, so, so she can't even pick the front. So mm -hmm. I'm always in the mix of drive with a dangler. Tell us how do we properly care for our children's hair? What okay. are the steps, especially the natural hair, especially? Yeah, of course. So um, I think um, the first step to actually caring for the natural hair is to understand the hair itself, like mm -hmm. understand the makeup of the hair. So normally, uh. Afro to short hair is very kinky and coily. Mm. So that makes it very dry. Mm -hmm. So when it's dry, it's hard or a bit difficult to actually manage it. So first, we would want to moisturize the hair first before you go ahead to detangle or even to comb the hair. So the first step actually is to use water. Mm. So you can have water in a spray bottle and just spray it on the hair just a bit, not right. too yeah. wet that is now damp. Right. So if it's damp, that, that, that might result to the issue you're talking about, like it gets too slippery, slippery to yeah. manage. So just 
spray a bit okay, and then you use a leave-in conditioner. Mm -hmm. So the leave-in conditioner will help you to easily detangle the hair. Right. So it's also important to understand the different conditioners available. Mm -hmm. So we have the leave-in conditioner, mm -hmm. we have the rinse-out conditioner, and we also have a deep conditioner. So the rinse-out is actually the one you use after washing the hair. It's like instant. So just detangle, moisturize, then rinse it out. But the leave-in conditioner is the one you can now use daily. So mm -hmm. the days you want to make her hair or days that you just want to moisturize her hair. So after the water, you use the leave-in conditioner just a bit and detangle. So when you're detangling, you don't want to just put the comb like from the roots and then you're yanking the hair like that because mm -hmm. it can cause a bit of discomfort. So what you do is just to start from the tip easily. You can hold it this way, just comb yeah. it, comb it till you get to the mm. tip. So a lot of patient is actually required uh, for, yeah, for us to use, the for you to actually, to sit. yeah. And then most times, the reason why it's difficult to manage kiddies hair is that they have short attention span. Mm. So mm. sometimes they don't even want to just sit down and then you're mm -hmm. um, yeah. working on their hair. They want to just be on the move. Right. So you, you need to understand what makes your baby engaged. For my own daughter, my first daughter, she, she loves intellig intelligent conversation. So what I do is that when I want to make her hair, I try to engage her mm. for her to understand the reason why I'm making mm. her hair. She would ask you, why are you putting this? Why are you putting this? Don't just say, ah, put your head in one down. place. Let me, let me <laughs> yeah. do this thing. You explain to her, okay, this is a conditioner. This is what the conditioner does. So which of the conditioners are good for kids? Can you, do, can you deep condition a child's hair or just yeah, you when can. living is just fine? Do you yeah, use you all can. three or just pick one? No. So it, is, it actually depends on you doing... Um, building a regime for your daughter. Okay. And it also depends on the age of the, your baby. Right. For instance, if your baby is like zero to three months or mm -hmm. zero to six months, depending on if the baby says is really thick, right. yeah, you can use just the hair oil. Okay. So you just use water and then use the yeah, hair oil right. and you're fine. Right. But sometimes when the baby says is really thick, like my daughter, my first daughter, she came with a, she came with a very thick hair. So right. From three months, I was already using a leave-in conditioner wow. yeah, to, for it to be easy for to me to comb, comb. You know, a lot yeah. of her hair. So a lot of parents are worried now, especially some parents who are very health conscious, thinking, I don't want to put different sort of chemicals. products, pr uh, products mm -hmm. on my child's hair and the chemicals and how it will eventually affect my child. So are there any Organic. other like natural organic products, products that a parent can use okay. for a yeah, child? So let me relate my experience. So. Um, Four years ago, should I, four years, yeah, four years ago, my baby is almost five, okay, like four years plus ago. So she came with this very thick hair, and I'm like, okay, I love um, styling kiddies hair, I love hair, she should just come with this very thick and all that. But then it, it was very difficult for me to actually comb her hair. So I, I walked into a store, I got a commercial product, a leave in conditioner for her. And then it caused uh, boys on her scalp mm -hmm. because her her scalp is actually very, very Soft. sensitive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I didn't yeah, know. Yeah. So I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't have any idea about hair care and kids yeah. and all that. So I was like, okay, what do I do now? So I started researching shea butter, coconut oil. That's actually my journey to starting my brand, Maracruz Organics. Mm -hmm. So from there, I started formulating products for her. So I had like, I mixed oil, I mixed olive oil, I mixed coconut oil, and then it was working fine. I was like, okay, this is actually working fine. That means there are other things that nature actually has in stock for us mm. that would help us to actually right. manage this hair without us using commercial products. Mm. So many people yeah. resort to relaxing their hair. I, I'm lucky I don't, I'm not, well, I don't have girls, so I don't have to go through the struggle, <laughs> but I see other women and mothers that have just given up. They just look at it like, I cannot come and die. Bring your hair, let's put relaxer. So, but I now wonder, the relaxers have chemicals. You're put, introducing these things into your, your young child's hair. So she will start that journey of exposure to chemicals all through from like five. How would you advocate for mothers to deal with children who just don't, whose who's, who's hair becomes a pre, pretty much a big chore for them and they can't handle it. Okay. Would you advocate salon or you say, just be patient and <laughs> learn how to do it? Okay, it, it's, it's actually two way thing. So first of all, understand the nature of the hair that is, is dry and is, it might be a bit difficult to manage. Then next is for you to actually understand how do you now take care of this um, hair. So if you're a mom and you have a lot of time in your hands, to actually take care of the baby's hair, you will now get very few products that can mm. actually get you started. Mm. But then if you don't have a lot of time on your hands to actually do that, mm. then you need to get a salon 
that understands how to take care of the African hair. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is that most of the stylists available currently in Nigeria, have no idea. they don't have any idea how to actually take care of the natural hair or um, kiddies hair. Mm -hmm. So what you notice is that you can, you just walk into salons and you see babies crying, like mm -hmm. they're just using the comb on dry hair because they don't know any better. Mm. So it's good for you as a mom to be educated as mm. regards to how to actually do that. But then you cannot transfer that knowledge that you have to your stylist that will be mm. making your baby's hair to say, oh no, these are my products, this is the water, this is the living condition, this is how to use it. And also try to monitor a bit, right. depending so, on your so time. So let's talk about the, the organic products that you had to get, because I have a daughter, and my, if she has my hair, she's going to be in serious pain. <laughs> very kinky. It, it shrinks like this and you have to stretch out before you get it done. So it's very difficult. And I, I invest in oils. In fact, I, I mix everything. I mix my soap. I mix everything. Sometimes you get it wrong. Mm. So what exactly is that oil that you must avoid, that is not for hair, that even when they say it on, you have to stay off? What are those oils that you know truly, truly you can achieve a softener with, that you know that can give you that management um, properties okay. that you need for hair. Okay, no, I initially I mentioned before I started making products, so I use olive oil and coconut oil. So it also depends on your kiddies hair, like some react to coconut oil. So you might need to test out to actually see the kind of oils that your baby's hair would, yeah, exactly. So, but normally coconut oil, olive oil, Almond oil mm. is fantastic for starters. For start starters, actually, you can use what cold pressed coconut oil. Yeah, shea butter is also very good, What's but then it sometimes can be very heavy yeah. for, for the hair. My children so, reacted to it. Yeah, sometimes what you can do if you're a mom and you don't want to go the DIY style is to whip it. Like you use shea butter and then you add a bit of oil and whip it so that mm -hmm. it's softer and easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like most time you see. Um, you add oil to the scalp and you're oiling your scalp. When it gets too much, it clogs the pores mm. and the hair follicles, it might not be very difficult for the hair to actually grow Ooh. out. Ooh. Yeah, so you don't want to use so much occlusives, mm. but instead, occlusives are things like butters, plant butters mm. and heavy creams and all that. Mm. So, but instead you need to use a water-based product oh, okay. mm -hmm. first. So that's where the living conditioner comes first before okay. you now use like the hair oil okay, or hair butter. Okay, for me. Are you there for me? Yeah, I'm there. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm a first time caller. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I called. Um, my, what I want to say is to what um, Tokmai said. Yeah, she said, um, what I want to say is, we like that, yes, when the, the girls want to relax their hair. Yeah, so um, people do say that relaxing their hair damages the hair. That whenever they relax their hair, it damages the hair and the child's hair. That that means um, the hair is not a virgin, and it's somehow like they don't relax. And people do say that you shouldn't relax your child's hair. It damages. The hair. Right. What was the question? Okay. So I didn't get the so, question. So I think she's trying to say that does, it, does, the, the hair? does it really damage your hair or can it be uh, a method uh, what's of the value of the, the virgin hair? Okay, <laughs> okay so um, basically relaxers has chemicals in it. Mm. And when it's overused, of course, your hair will be damaged. That's why you notice that sometimes when you start using relaxers on your hair, it turns to brown color mm. and you notice that the hair starts thinning out and yeah. it starts getting weak. Mm. So for kids actually, I don't advise that you start up with relaxing, but it's good to know that, that the reason why they actually resort to relaxers is because the hair is difficult hair to manage. Yes. Yeah. But if eventually you still feel like you want to relax, you might now start putting in measures to actually doing that, like not frequently relaxing mm. the hair. Mm. So, See, so I have a I, question. I, I'll come to you, Mary, I'm sorry, because I, I had an experience. My daughter's hair is just, I mean, I have two daughters. The first one, her hair, if we make the hair today, by evening, it's already rough. Yeah. Okay. Because she has that really, really kinky, yeah. curly, 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 curly hair. So what I did was that I put a bit of a um, texturizer. Mm. I tried to, I don't use what actually I relax, I use texturizer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it. It. <laughs> <laughs> so to the front, okay. so that at least it's, it's neater. Because teachers always complain that she didn't make her hair. I'm like, yeah, she did, oh, the hair is just rough. <laughs> so in that kind of situation, I had to use a texturizer to make her hair neater. Was I wrong oh, to do yeah. that? Or could I have managed it better, even as a natural hair? Well, uh, you can't uh, run away from the texture of our hair. That's yeah. how our hair texture is. So what you can do is try to deep condition the hair. 
Mm -hmm. Because the conditioners help to soften the hair so it is actually easier to right. manage. So before making the hair, you can wash and deep condition sure. the hair with a deep conditioner that is actually right. made for kids. Okay. So it makes it easier, easier for it not to have that rough okay. neck. Okay. But okay. then so eventually this, it might still get rough. So that brings me to my second question, <laughs> okay. which is, see, I need a convenient, easy to do regimen <laughs> when it moves when it's more than two to three steps i'm not interested okay because i mean i'm busy i can't, I can't spend my this. yes i cannot be spending my whole day i can't, yeah, I can't spend the whole day doing hair she yeah. just please Nigerians. one to two steps please <laughs> For us, okay. quickly okay. with okay, children so one to two steps mm. is actually get your spray bottle put in water and put in the leave-in conditioner in it. Right. Okay. So it's not like a liquid, it's like more like, um, more like um, milk. Mm -hmm. So okay. you can just spray it on the hair and then use a, um, an oil to lock in moisture. So that's for so daily. So just like two steps, so like that's daily. water and oil. Okay. Water, mm. then occlusive. Good. So occlusive helps it to stay moisturized for a very long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, how, many pro sorry, how many of these products would you need on your table? To help with your the water hair. and the oil, no, 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 I need no, no, her to no, be careful. No, uh -huh. I need her yeah, to you, say. You need, you need <laughs> okay, so on your table, because I know actually, there's, sorry, let me just rephrase it. There's a daily regimen, then there's, there's a, a bi-weekly yeah, or weekly yeah, regimen. Exactly. Yeah, so how many products so do I need? On your table. Mm. You need like um, six products, hey. but that doesn't mean you're using the six products at once. Okay. It also de depends on your baby's age. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. So if your baby is like uh, zero to six months, mm. you might just use water. Let me pause and you for a second. Oil. You come to that six six year <laughs> process. Let me take this is holding for you. This are you there? Mm. Yeah, I'm there, Mariah. Thanks Good for calling. Go ahead, please. <coughs> Yeah, please. Uh, I believe air is female issue, so I don't want to talk about that. Sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine? Boys have. Go ahead. Have have Boys have hair too. Don't you have a daughter? Let him Go ahead, please, Jerry. Go okay. ahead. I said hair is female is issue. I don't want to talk about that. It's your view that it counts. Go ahead, please. Yeah. I have just a few things to talk about. One of the top, first things I want to talk about is legal state government. I don't know whether legal state government are this sensitive about the influx of not announced that is riding a car in Lagos. Mm -hmm. What is legal state government doing about this? Mm -hmm. Because the kind of accident that happened on the street of Lagos is too much, too brutal. The other day, one of our members from the mosque went to cross the road to the mosque, and the Okada man went to hit this man. And now this man is lying in the hospital. We need almost 300,000 naira to fix this man. Mm -hmm. I don't know why legacy government are not sensitive about the influx of people that is driving Okada. Thank you very much, Adisa. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's something issue. we talk about. And there'll be a lot of talking. But I'm not sure about. It. I'm not sure it's about the north it's just or where they come. It's just Okada riders. They need yes. to regulate their operations. So mm -hmm. we'll make it a topic and we'll discuss it. Back to the issue: the bot six bottles mm -hmm. on the six table. Bottles. Please, yes, please. <laughs> now, what are the bottles? Okay, and how okay. Do you so use them? Um, you have the shampoo and the conditioner, which mm -hmm. is. Rinse out condition instant. Okay. So the days you want to wash her hair, which shouldn't be more than like twice in a month, okay. depending on your baby's lifestyle as well. You can do like once a week. Okay. So um, you have shampoo and the conditioner mm -hmm. for washing, wash and rinse mm -hmm. out conditioner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you now have the leave-in conditioner, a hair butter and hair oil. You can do without the butter or without the leave-in conditioner. It actually depends on what you want to achieve. The leave-in conditioner is always lighter and the hair cream is always is like heavy. Mm. So you can do leave-in conditioner and all fantastic, or you can do hair butter mm. and all. Mm. So that's five. Mm. So for moisturizing is leave-in um, cream and all. Mm. Then we now have the deep conditioner. Mm. So like from a year, two years, when your baby has a lot of hair to mm. actually for you to actually deep condition the hair. So deep conditioner helps to impart more moisture to the mm -hmm. hair. So you can do a moisture or protein deep conditioning treatment. So that's the six. So, okay, so let's talk about, sorry, talk about putting um, conditioners. People think you just blend the fruits and put in the hair. Some fruits can actually dry up moisture. Let's, please advise on, on those DIY things. Okay, oh. <laughs> well, for, well, for DIY, I, I don't really advise so much on DIY. I don't know, maybe because I make products anyway, it's more convenient. But for um, most people I notice they do like avocado, those then eggs. they mix some oils and some then eggs carrots, when the you want to, um, when you want to Price do the protein water. treatment, then you can do yogurt and milk as well. Mm -hmm. But it's always more convenient to actually just get, ah, get it packed. I'm, I'm telling you. I've done, it. Yeah. I've done banana and we couldn't risk it away from the I'm telling you. The onions and the was smelling you for the this. Right banana. Please, just buy good products and yeah. make your life easy. Mm -hmm. But I had a challenge. I, I was supposed to, this month was supposed to be my natural hair month, but after one week I could not survive it. 
because of the styling every day. So I realized that um, I was struggling to put a lot of leave-in conditioner to soften my hair, and it took my hairstylist to tell me that I'm overdoing product into my hair, mm. that I should first put enough wat put water to make it damp before adding my leave-in conditioner. So I'm not overusing products. Yeah. Uh, ma ma many people might be having that mm. same problem. So mm. w when you say that your hair, there's, there's need for water, you, we, we can't overemphasize. Can you break down why people should put water in their hair and how much product they need to use? Because some people just scoop out the product and put it into the hair. <laughs> what, like what's the most. size? Yes. Oh, okay, the water is actually to get it slightly wet, or just mm -hmm. slightly, not like damp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you put in water first in order to soften it, because water helps to soften as well. And like I said, when you just put in oil on the, uh, on the hair, it just stays on the hair. It doesn't absorb. Mm -hmm. So when you put in water, it's like a base first and gets the hair loose up the uh, your kinky nature mm. of the the hair before you now use the leave-in condition so when you want to use your leave-in condition just leave, like just a little it depends on the effectiveness of the product as mm. well so if the product is super effective just mm. use a little, little like just two squeezes and let me take this call from titi from bielsa are you there titi are you still there chichi or is it chichi go ahead please i think we might have lost that call sorry oh. about that chichi okay oh. All right, so okay. Nima was going to something. Uh, yeah, so there's a question for you. It said, what, most of these oils that we talk about, do they work easily as well for adults? Or is that there's a constant difference that you must maintain for children? No, I don't think so. So normally for kids, you can start with coconut oil. It's very light. It penetrates faster. Mm -hmm. Then you can use olive oil. But then it depends on, the, everything depends on the nature of your baby's hair. Like there are some baby's hair that is just very light. Mm -hmm. So you can just use lighter oils, but then hair that is really heavy, that just light oil will not really work on it. You can now do like olive oil or castor oil. So it depends on the nature of your I, I, baby's hair. I, 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 want, I don't know if you can answer this question because it's not your area, but okay. I, I'll, I'll try to ask you. Just, there's a myth that if you do thread, mm -hmm. it makes your hair stretch, stretch, it makes your hair longer. If we do DD, it makes your hair fuller. Is that true? Yeah, I've always heard that. The flat one. DD is the matting. It gives you the illusion mm. that the hair is fuller or that it's longer. But it's not really sustainable. It just stretches it. It makes it straight. Yeah, so what it does is like threading helps to stretch out the hair. Like, yeah. you know, the kinky hair is like shrinked. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you now thread, it's stretching, stretching it out. out. If you lose and do thread again, it's stretching it out. So, so that's why you feel like it's longer. longer. Mm -hmm. But right. at the end of the day, the person that is not threading and the person that is threading is still the same thing at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. When you just stretch the hair, you still see how long it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so uh, before you run uh, off, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> because I know we're almost out yeah. of time and we, you, you didn't answer, you didn't explain deep conditioner and how often people should use okay, on their okay, children's okay. hair and how long you should leave it on the child's hair and mm. what it does just okay okay quickly. so so quickly uh, a deep conditioner is like a treatment you use when you notice that the baby's hair is actually weak or, so you you put in the deep conditioner after washing the hair mm -hmm. then you can leave it on the hair for like 10 minutes to 30 minutes mm. so you cover it with a shower sure. cap and leave it to actually penetrate the hair shaft mm. and yeah the so after that you just rinse with water you don't use um, a shampoo mm. anymore because you use shampoo before that so mm. for time you can do it like once a month or every six weeks as oh. in once in six weeks six okay. yeah okay. so do, do you have here. any training that you do for local hair makers so that they know how to handle wet hair because that's how you... It's, it's among our uh, plans to actually do like a salon tour where mm. we actually educate stylists and educate people that actually, are making it so they have to run off. So. Thank you very oh, much, <laughs> Shamara, for coming and sharing. Thank you. Hopefully we'll bring you back to talk very about your business, how you started, because okay. I hear you manufacture products in Nigeria. Yeah, of course. That's huge. So mm. we need you to teach us I how really to start love to, come back. to do that because <laughs> Nigerians, we're trying to grow Nigerian businesses yeah. and get like, let Nigerians know it's sustainable and it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's profitable. It so, so we'll much. bring it back. All right. That's yeah. all we can take on the show. I hope you've learned a lot as we have. Tomorrow is our live audience show. Please come early so you can. Mm -hmm. I think we have a very juicy topic tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. juicy to engage our audience. Stay with mm -hmm. us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>